So today we're actually gonna be talking about hair loss that's caused by having an imbalance of testosterone in your body. Now this can actually happen to both men and women, but we most often see it referred to as male pattern baldness or male hair loss. And that's because testosterone is typically higher in men, but not only men have testosterone. So I wanna dive into this a little bit. I feel like it's not talked about a lot. I feel like there's some confusion around it. And there's also some conditions that women can have that would increase testosterone. And some women just have more testosterone naturally. So this is definitely um, an issue that can impact anyone, any human being, and I wanna talk about it. So first of all, if you don't know me, my name is Stephanie Merrow. I'm a cosmetologist in Orlando, Florida. I also have a hair product that I've launched online. The link to that is in the description of this video, as well as the product that I recommend to help combat hair loss that might be caused by too much testosterone in the body. So let's talk about why too much testosterone in the body even can cause hair loss. So about 10% of testosterone is converted into DHT. And when DHT is active at the scalp, it actually causes hair follicles to constrict, to shrink. And what that does is it delays the um, hair growth cycle. And it also can cause hair to grow in more fine or weaker. And it also can mean that the hair does not come back at all over time. So if you are noticing that the majority of your hair loss is happening around your front hairline, this would be a good sign that your hair loss might be being caused by testosterone in the body and it might be a good, good time to go to your doctor and get some blood work done and have your hormone levels checked out. Now, um, let's talk about how um, PCOS is connected to this type of hair loss. So PCOS is a condition, an endocrine disorder, that actually re usually results in an increase in testosterone in the body. It's becoming more and more common for women to be diagnosed with PCOS. There is a connection between industrial chemicals and the rise of PCOS, but that might be a story for another time. That being said, know that I do a lot of research on this stuff. I'm kind of obsessed with the connection between chemicals and health and hair. And that's sort of my brand at this point <laughs> and my passion, of course, to educate on it. So that being said, um, that increase in testosterone in the body can then result in increased DHT, which can result in hair loss. Another part about PCOS that can re result in hair loss is um, an iron deficiency. Now, I am not a professional nutritionist and I'm not a doctor. So, um, I mean, personally, I get my iron supplementation by eating uh, red meat. And if you're a vegan, I think you should probably refer to your medical professional for advice on the best way to get iron for a vegan diet or vegetarian diet. So what can we do about this and what other factors might be increasing testosterone in the body? So another um, thing that can, a lifestyle habit that can lead to increased testosterone is actually um, extreme weightlifting. So there's a lot of popularity around weightlifting, bodybuilding, um, some types of CrossFit, anything that is, is like an extreme strain on the muscles can actually increase testosterone, lead to spikes in DHT and cause this type of hair loss. It's also known as androgenic alopecia. You may have been diagnosed with that by your doctor before um, and hopefully they went as in depth about it um, as I am right now. So what can you do about it if you think that your testosterone levels are high and it could be leading to DHT and causing hair loss is there are options like DHT blockers. Again, not a medical professional, so I'm not gonna tell you to use DHT blockers, especially because from the research I've done, there are some kind of scary side effects along with a lot of them, but I will say that in the link in my bio is a natural spray that you can use to help block testosterone from converting to DHT um, overnight if you think that that might be the cause of your hair loss. Besides that, you might want to ask your medical professional about an option of DHT blockers. A lot of them have been proven to have good results in um, reversing hair loss associated with that. But that being said, there are also side effects. So I would like to know from you guys, because I am trying to lean back more into um, science 
science-based hair education. That's how I got my start on YouTube in 2019. That's what um, pushed me to write my book, Cracking the Curl Code, which is on Amazon. I self-published that in 2019. Um, and now I'm really wanting to get back into it, talk to you guys more about the connection between science, health, and hair. So what I wanna know is what questions do you have? Please leave your questions in the comments and I will do my best to respond to them with a video answering your questions. Um, also, sorry about not really being able to see my face today. <laughs> I'm at that critical moment where I have to decide if I'm keeping my bangs or growing them out. So I'm just playing with wearing them forward again to decide if I want to keep them or not. But uh, I don't know. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. I live in Florida and most of the time it's just way too hot to wear them down, so I will probably grow them out. All right, well, I look forward to hearing from you guys. I hope you found this informative. You can check out the description below for product links. Also my product, the product that could help with this type of hair loss by blocking testosterone conversion to DHT using plants. And then also the link to my website. Um, and what else? Like, I think that's it. <laughs> if I forgot something, it'll be in the description anyway. So check it out. Uh, um, check me out on Instagram as well at steph.marrow. I'll talk to you guys soon.